Last time we encountered the flamboyant Reckless A. Bandon. With Norman being the first traveller he's seen at the crossroads in a long time, he realised that his own brand of brigandry has dried up. His local fences in Tanapon Henge are gone, his lifestyle in ruins. In a fit of archetypal passion, he proclaimed that he was going to go get revenge with Norman. And so the two journey uh, with Norman to the, a forgotten path at the base of the ascent to the mountain. The thunderous peak draws closer and the forest grows thinner. One solitary trail leads towards and then snakes up the mountain. A marker similar to the ones Norman saw in Tonopon Henge kind of line the pathway. And as they approach, they hear loud, booming voices from beside the path. Oh, I'm hungry. They dive for a bush. When well, I'm not so tough. They creep closer, trying to see the creatures that are having this argument. As they peer on as they get closer, they see the bulky form of a very large creature. Humanoid, but with giant ogreish proportions. They see it wields an axe in both hands and is chopping at a tree with loud thuds, its hulking strength breaking the wood with every strike. The creature stops, raises itself slightly more upwards from its hunched position, and reveals it has two heads. We've been told to block the road. So why are we cutting down such small trees, a couple of big ones, and we'll be done? Dummy, they'll be too heavy to carry. If we chop down the smaller ones, they'll be easier to place. The giant begins fighting with itself, jerking left then right between thicker and thinner trees. Bigger! No, smaller, you idiot! They have, in course, encountered an Etin. Ah! The Etin. The Etin. Very cool. Right, welcome everybody. It's Challenge Raiders, Season 2, Storm Mountain. Winter on Storm Mountain. Journey's continuing. Yes, the Etin. Um, I'm going to be drawing it. Uh, my name's Theo. Uh, my name's Neil, Social Media Manager. Uh, and I'm Sam. So yeah, so the the Etin, as you say, is two, a two-headed big, big man of some sort. What kind of a man is this man, Neil? Let me know. Uh, well, he is, a, he is uh, by all definitions, a giant. But... Mm-hmm. Um, from their more back lore and what they're related to, they are orc cousins, is what they're yeah, kind of Yeah, yeah, the, the orc, the cursed orc race, essentially, from my, from my understanding, at least. Yeah, 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 they're cursed, uh, classic, if it, particularly at the moment, the name Demogorgon is very popular in popular culture. Oh, that's true, yes. So, uh, they, they're explicitly cursed by Demogorgon. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, because Demogorgon, for some reason, Demogorgon to me sounds like like a race name, not a individual's mm. name. But your yeah, Demogorgons mm. are one of the super demons of the uh, abyss, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. And he has two heads. Yeah, he he's a, a another two headed fella. I think like the the lore is like it's not super uh, consistent about where Ettins are coming from. Uh, like this, like, if there's an inciting incident or anything. But basically, some orcs annoyed Demogorgon and thus got cursed to be Ettins. These two headed. Chaps, but it could really be anything you want. It could be you know two ogres or two giants or anything that get you know cursed to. Yeah, yeah. The general yeah, idea yeah. of an Etin is to have a two-headed creature. I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Let's talk. Let's. Have, I guess we should talk about its. Uh, it's what it does. Just to start us off because it's not a huge amount of stuff from what I remember. So obviously, the unique thing about it is that it has two heads. So that means it has advantage on wisdom checks or uh, saving throws against being blinded charmed deafened frightened stunned or not unconscious these okay. obviously make sense because there are two heads so the idea being that you'd have to make the spell or effect target both of like hit both yeah of them. yeah that's kind of the way that works yeah i, I like that it's not immunity mm, because is... like th- this is not like a super tough creature it's, no, it's... it's tough but it's not you know it's not like challenge rating it's challenge rating four so it's, it's... yeah so it's like a, it's a big it's a tough early early game thing yeah so Giving it like resistance is is fine. It, there's some like fun role play you could do in there, like with it resisting getting blinded. But, like maybe one of the heads is blinded, but the other one's fine, mm. and like that that could be like a good way of one of them. One of them like know, gets, it. gets put to sleep or charmed. The other one like slaps it awake <laughs> yeah. or just laughs at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as a creature that attacks it. It, it attacks twice. Uh, you know, yeah. it, in the book it describes a battle axe and a morning star, but it could be whatever you want, really. Yeah, any, any old weapon. But that's the cool thing about its multi attack. Yeah, is that it says that it makes one. It has a morning star and a battle axe, and it makes an attack with one with the, each once. It yeah, doesn't yeah. do two battle axes or two morning stars, so mm. it's like both sides of the creature are fighting. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I would say about that is it's it's it, that is a cool thing. It's a bit disappointing in my mind that they're basically identical. It's just the damage yeah. type is different. They're identical. But that, that's a, a bit of a missed opportunity. Maybe if like the Morning Star did less damage but had like a greater reach. Something like that. That could be cool. But, but yeah. It's, it's like again, again that, that's something, something you, that you, you could vary up if you want to make it a bit. I, I would agree. The fact that it's identical is. Uh, it's, it feels it like a, a bit of a missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's with just that. like, oh, okay. I, I would have. Because when I was reading that, I was like, oh, cool. These are two different attacks. Nice. And I was like, oh, it does, does the same damage and everything. Like, oh, all right. Fair enough. Anyway, um, does it have uh, any like notable statistics, like if it's a bit of its attributes and stuff? It's, like, it's really strong and quite dumb. Yeah, yeah, okay. 21 strength, that's, 6 intelligence. Okay, that's pretty... That's dumber than a lot of, like, yeah. dumb things. Because, like, that's dumber than, like, basic orcs, I think, right? Who are, like, around a 7? I think that's right. I think they're about that. So, yeah, I guess that that's... I guess that kind of makes sense for, like, the stereotypical kind of dumb giant orc thing. But, uh... Yeah. Do they have any trained skills or anything that make sense? <sighs> perception, perception uh, I guess yeah. makes sense because, obviously, they've got... Two sets of two eyes. Sets of eyes. Yeah. Which they also you you won't ever find one asleep because when one sleeps, the other head is awake. That's really cool. Yeah, that's actually awesome because again, like we, we're talking with the Bahir, like stumbling in on a sleeping monster. So then, you know, the idea of stumbling in on something that like maybe you see one of its heads and you see it's asleep, you're like, haha, nice. And then you go to sneak up, goes to the other side, like, and then it's just. Eh, awake. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, that's a cool. Little, that's a cool little detail. I like that. But yeah, I think that's mainly it. Like, it has dark vision and obviously leaning to its heritage. Uh, it speaks giant and orc. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you could have. I mean, actually, you'd have, you'd have them both speak the same language. That's fine. I it, suppose it could be cool oh, to have what? one to speak fair, one language yeah. and one speak the other. Dude, that's awesome. That'd yeah. be very cool. I really they enjoy that. Can't, they can't communicate. <laughs> yeah, they're sort of like, so just and, and then if you got if your if your party has a guy who could speak both or something, then he could settle their differences, and that's mm. a peaceful way to solve it. That could be really cool. I like that idea a lot too, because that that kind of actually in a way works with like the the cursed idea more mm. uh, to have them be stuck together and yet unable to to communicate could be very interesting. You, and, we, I guess you could have it as like it was a giant that annoyed them and an orc, and the orc got fused to him. Yeah, yeah, like a punishment, almost like a riddle, like to solve, like trying to figure out what both sides want, and then figure out how. Just some point that they're both just yelling at each other in, in, unintelligently, <laughs> yeah. just getting yeah. really <laughs> angry. Maybe both of them know half of a puzzle. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that could be cool. This is why, like again, Etin statistics. The two head stuff is kind of cute. In actual gameplay, the thing comes out you and wails at your two sticks. Yeah, it has yeah. two attacks and it hits you. It's quite um, HP. Oh, it's right. got twenty one strength and forty foot speed, so it runs at you and wails on. It <laughs> runs at you again. It's for, for a challenging four thing. That's probably maybe not the highest strength of that level, but it's it's up there. Like not many things have that high strength at, at that level. I think. But the real reason you pick an Etin is kind of it's the two heads. It's the two heads. You want them to have a chat and uh, chat with each other and, uh, you know... And be the dumb. book be, be even fun. says they hate each other. It's <laughs> it, it has to specify. I think, you know, the way I see it is, like, even if, you know, as someone who's lived in shared accommodation with people, even if it's someone you get on with, <laughs> over time, being in close proximity to people, the small things they do that annoy you can build up and build up. <laughs> Imagine if you were stuck on their shoulder. Stuck on their shoulder. One of the... <laughs> and, like... <laughs> And one that, of them I, has to listen to the other one snore. Yeah, one of them like does this. Oh, weird they both thing. have to listen to each other snore all the time. One of them does this weird thing where it snores, where it kind of semi hiccups every like second yeah. snore, and it just and drives just... him crazy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why they can't sleep. It's because one of them snores, so the other <laughs> one, one falls asleep first. <laughs> and they just the the way. stuck. I can't sleep when you're snoring. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> So you have to give them a pair of earmuffs, and that's and that's that's the, the uh, quest resolved. That's the quest resolved, I, and they let you through. I have to say that is the uh, that is the 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 perfect Etin use I found because I've I've run an Etin before, and it was uh, a riddle um, right, yeah, where yeah. the Etins forgot the riddle. Oh, and cool! They but each knew one. Each remembered one thing from it. Well, one of them knew the answer, but neither of them knew the question. Okay, cool. So uh, they keep telling the answer, and then uh, basically the party interact with them, and they uh, they have to uh, they have to find a way to figure out what the riddle was, okay. or come up yeah, with a yeah. new riddle for the Etin. That that would fit it. That's fun. I like yeah. that. A lot. 
Um, and uh, if they come up with a wholly new one, the Etin obviously attacks because one of them knows what the answer should be, and they just yeah. didn't say it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so yeah, and then that can that's funny because of the other head is like no 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 no. So then the Etin's kind of trying to stop itself. Yeah, no. That's cool. I like that. The other because what we've talked about so far is using them not really as they're suited for vis a vis stats. Mm. Um, but like there is something in their law which kind of supports it in that they are they're associated with orcs without actually being like racially orcs exactly but so you'll find them around orcs so there's no reason like you couldn't have like an orc like warlord who's got an etin yeah like bodyguard or uh, guarding an area and you have to trick your way past them to get through without fighting them mm. just because just like you don't want to deal with like losing the hp or whatever or causing a ruckus mm. Confuse the guy, get into the orc camp, and you know because may- maybe the orcs that you've got really don't like Etins. Maybe they're like this guy's just, this guy's a gross mutie, uh, but he's strong, so we'll k- leave we'll maybe, keep him around. I mean, you know, they're, they're, it does also say they're not particularly loyal to orcs, and it's more the right, promise yeah. of loot and food. So if you could offer the Etin, so perhaps you could offer like a guard Etin something that it would want more than what it's, you know, give it a better deal, and then it, you know yeah. it breaks the door down or something like that. Or yeah, the exact head. opposite happens. You try and promise it more, and it's like, nah, they feed me a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and it goes to pun with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's fun. I uh, I quite like uh, just because this the Etin page is really long. It's mm. a big page. Um, one of my favorite things on this page, just talking about the monster, is the fact that they say that female Etins are like stronger than the male okay. ones. That's cool. I didn't, and, I didn't see that. and when they reproduce, the female one goes out, finds a male one, beats him up, <laughs> and, and then makes him look after her while she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, That's very funny. Now, yeah. Yeah, That's cool. which could be very funny. Like, yeah. a male <laughs> etin out pregnancy, in the wild. the male is released from servitude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's a very good sentence. So it could oh, be like, very funny. You, you can come a across a camp. There's a male yeah. Etin out in the world, and he's like, you know, he's got like a, a bump on his forehead. Yeah. You know the wives. No, <laughs> Mrs. Etin. No, it's the um, wives, because there's two heads oh, yeah, of the wives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. fun. But yeah, another thing to talk about Etins is that they're only large. Like, they they aren't, you know, huge. They're, they're not huge, yeah. I mean, as, cause the one that I'm currently drawing... He's big. He's a big guy, but he's not. Mm. You know, that he's he's within a ten foot cube. Yeah, I think that that's quite important to like mention is that they are they are big, strong, but they're like they are like almost two orcs fused together. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, they're not full kind of you know hill giant or whatever. No, they they, they are. I, I I think that they they they're in the ten foot cube because they wave a big axe around in that. 10 foot square not yeah. because they are necessarily a 10 foot tall uh, creature no again like size is like one of the less clearly defined like things in D&D like it's like a rough estimate for, for size and stuff and, that, and that's fine but yeah they are not they're not huge they're, they are they are large which is which is cool to us and they don't have reach obviously yeah yeah that's, again like that's another thing that makes them like slightly weaker for like a fourth generating fourth thing they're not like controlling an, an area they're just like running hit presumably one or two people Quite hard. Yeah, what the the fantasy of using an etin, like yeah. why you would use an etin is you, to have the argu- the etin on its own. You have the arguing scene, you know, the the conversations with each other, yeah. all this law stuff. It also does have another purpose of the monster horde. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the 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 villainous or the villainous group is attacking. They yeah. have. There's a bunch of orcs. And you don't want to use, like, maybe some of the, the orcs that are more, like, specifically religious yeah. ones. Or so an like, ogre. Or an ogre that played out, like, oh, I have an Etin. And you can still have, like, fun, like, Etin banter in the middle of the uh, the fight. There's no reason that couldn't be. They argue maybe about they're, who they're uh, going to smash. You, you could, you, and with that, you could even play on the whole, like, um, they're not loyal thing. If you know that as a little fact, maybe your bard, I mean, Sam, you did this the other day, as a, as a bard, in the middle of a combat... Do some persuading, maybe make some offers, maybe turn them in the middle of a fight if if they've got if they're just like a minion. They could like I think it hey. worked quite well, especially because they're not very wise. Like even if they were an enemy, like you only roll like you know, for example, in that example, your suggestion, yeah, they, yeah. they only get disadvantage on that. 
like I mean advan- yeah, yeah. disadvantage on the check so I'd... that's true yeah yeah so it could, it could work like you could definitely it do something work. like that I, I also think uh, maybe having this guy being like a minor commander to a bunch of like not very interesting orcs and they're giving orders but they're disagreeing about what the orders that they're giving so that could be like a level of confusion that you could exploit uh, with the, the the minions that they're controlling as well, so that could be quite that could be fun. That could be fun. Yeah, I like that kind of like a it's a right makes a, I mean a might makes right kind of organization. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and you could have a, an Etin who has a band of orcs who he just hates, and they're yeah, both yeah. and they're both like one of them's like yeah go go there get the wizard now nah, guys get the one hitting me you know. <laughs> The guy on the right is like, that's fine over here. The guy on the left is like, hang on a minute. There's a, guy, there's a bunch of dudes on my side. He's hitting me. Yeah. Help it out. I think it it's, I think it suffice to say that if you're not playing the Etin like comedically, I feel like you're missing it's, you're you're missing a bit of a beat there. Yeah, it's a com- it is kind of comedy. The the concept of someone of a creature arguing with itself is inherently comedic. Like it hasn't got to be yeah. it hasn't got to be like super pratfully like it falls over a banana skin. But there should be no, a level no. of like levity there. I feel part of that is what part of what is is inherent in this. It's something that I don't really enjoy doing as a DM. I think you should avoid doing. Is it's a, is the DM having a conversation with themselves? Like that has to happen with the Essen. So if you're not yeah. making it entertaining, if you, then that's why are you why are you using be, it? There's not yeah. So at that point you're like, if you're gonna keep people's attention making it funny is a good way to do that and again it is inherent i mean if you're if you've seen monty python then you've seen the three-headed knight yep and that's that is what this is as well so should that's, we kill that's him fun. should we kill him oh, oh go on then go on then, <laughs> go on, then. <laughs> go on, go on, then. <laughs> there's no reason why you technically couldn't add more heads as well yeah, why not have a three-headed one that's a high level one. he's immune to like uh, the <laughs> the other effects uh, oh there, he like, bullies it, the other two heads He's he's the boy. He's got he's a crown the, on. the alpha head. He's in the yeah. middle. They all fight. They all they got like a thick, they got a speaking hat that they have to pass to each other. <laughs> Why oh, break? An Etin that's been to counselling. Oh, <laughs> I respect your opinion, but shut up. <laughs> shut up. I respect your opinion, but I'm not wearing the talking hat. Yeah, like, you got to wait. Like, your turn. Um, we've talked about some pretty obvious stuff for Etin. Is there any like? Out there things that you could think of vis-a-vis like situations. Because um, I think I think there's some really good obvious uses for it, but I'm just wondering like how flexible it is from that. I'm gonna, even though I haven't, I've literally thought about it for five seconds. I no, would, yeah, yeah. I would make the thing that just uh, apart from the things you said, I feel like if you start grasping further, I feel like there's better things to use for those things that you're okay, thinking yeah, of that's a, potentially. That's a fair point. That's a fair point, yeah. I'm going to bring up a character that I know uh, from... Uh, wow, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring up Chogall. I sure. would also say there's a D&D like, book character who's basically him. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's, a, he's like a sorcerer, right? Or yeah, he, no, no, well, he's uh, Chogall is a, a very powerful two-headed ogre, which is basically the same thing as this. Yeah, as yeah. yeah. And one of his heads is a spellcaster. Uh, and yeah, his that's other right. head is a is a, is a fighter. I mean, that's so that's definitely a variant you could go for. And, and you definitely you you'd, 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 you'd be changing the character a lot because you definitely have to make it like intelligent. Yeah. Intelligent, otherwise, yeah. No, but th- there's nothing that can say that some that much like people that they oh, couldn't be a very smart uh, yeah, yeah, etin yeah. that would that would you know. Uh, uh, maybe rise up the ranks of some organization. Sure. Maybe one of the heads is very smart, and the other one's even stupider. The other than, one's a like, brute. The base one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be. That could be fun. I, I think, like beyond that, there's nothing much. Like, if you wanted to have like more powerful variants of it, yeah, you could like armor one up. That could be cool. Like a, a like plate armored Etin, like with you know like two helmets. Yeah, could be bump, it, bump it bump so it's from like twelve to like seventeen or something. Yeah, hey. but then I don't really think that's like. That, that would just be cool visually. I don't yeah. really think there's, like... As you say, there's not much... Po- you're not really using an Eshin at that point. You're just like, I wanted a cool two-headed yeah, this is fit. knight. <laughs> that's a, um, that's the, the going from a monster horde to the the big bad's army. Like, yeah, upgrade. Exactly, yeah. uh, this is a cool monster, but, like, it's actual, like... 
mechanics are very boring. Yeah, like, it's it's one of those things like you go to fifth edition, you you removed a lot of like action stuff. Some things had to like suffer. I think Edge of the Suffer has suffered. Just like if you were to you just man pull up like D and D Beyond and just see that stat block, I'd be like, I'd give it a big shrug. Yeah, like this. This could be like so many other things. Um, it, it's it's just a strong thing with two. It's a it's a dual wielding thing. Yeah, but like there's a lot of a lot things of, a lot a lot, a lot of things are multi like multi I, I know yeah, I know it's... I know it is dual wielding, which is different, but it is like. Mecha- yeah, the it, one in the book is mechanically then basically the same. Like you know, like not, lot, not, most beasts will have like a claw and then a bite or not, something like not, that. And not those many are different things. Not many characters are going to have like a piercing resistance over a slashing resistance. Yeah, exactly. Especially no, around not, that level as well. Like if it's generating four, like if you're level three or level four party, like it means nothing. Shrug. Like, like it doesn't doesn't matter. I just remembered what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, it was a long wow route. There's a there is a two headed ogre boss who isn't triple, oh, yeah. and part of his thing is that um, he uh, uh, gets to his next phase. He yeah. he starts uh, attacking someone completely randomly. Okay. I think it's the person who's done the lowest amount of damage to him. He just oh, focuses God. on and kills them, no, and so that's uh, represents that maybe like. Uh, those uh, uh, abilities that draw its attention can be just turned off on a whim because it's two brains in there. So uh, you could very much have, like, one of them's not really into the fight and then he gets hit and he's like, oh, you're coming over here. And he starts, you know, like, lurching, like, one way. And with the two weapons thing, um, you can always T-Rex it. You can say that he can't attack the same target. I, I would always do yeah. that, I think, for a, for a thing like this. It's attacking, one head's looking at one guy attacking him, the other one's looking at a different guy attacking them. Totally, yeah, definitely. I, if I was to go, like, really, like, rule crafty and, like, into it, then I would say, like, maybe, like, if they attack two different guys, then maybe they'll have, like, disadvantage to be attacked because they're, like, their attention is split. But if they're only attacking one guy, then they're, like, focused more. And, and at that point, like, you could get tactical with it. But that is, again, having to do quite a lot of work for a monster that's not that tough. It will probably be pretty... Well, mm, if you use it just as a hidden thing, it'll be the most forgettable thing, like, in the game, I think. Mm. Maybe not. I think we should way, think but. about challenge rings. I think so as well. I think that's a fair point. Um, I, I like the situations that you can use it in, but I don't like the stat block, yeah. really. It's just its two heads. Like that, that's Which is a good is. thing. It's a great thing. I think thing. it's. Is it above? Is it? Is it above average? Is it above a ten? Is it above? Of that? Is it above a ten? I'm gonna say no. I think it might be sat on ten. I I could because it's yeah because the good stuff's really good. It's still a lot of work for the DM to do because then you have to do a lot of work. You are talking to yourself, trying to be entertaining. Yeah, um, which is a different thing to reacting to something that your players are doing, um, and then when the players start interacting with them, then you're two people talking to a party of people, and that's a lot of work. And if you want to use it, like as we were talking here, you know, to make it do a riddle, which would be awesome. If you pull it off, it'd be really good, but it is a lot to do. So maybe a nine, in, even. But, I'm maybe. gonna I'm gonna say ten because of the fact, and this was as you were just saying it. Yeah. Um, because of the how fantasy it is. Mm. Okay, I can see. It's that. not like you know an orc or a goblin or a something. It's a two-headed creature. Like, yeah, yeah. Y- you don't get that in in other medium in the same way. No, no, yeah. This is not something because, like, especially like these days. Like all the more human and like normal races are, or fantasy races are like they're they're used as like mediums for real life issues, as it were. Mm. Whereas the Etin is purely this is a made up fantasy thing. There's you're you're not there's no coding going on with it. No, really. um, unless one is associated and one is I... like ego, <laughs> which could be that could be fun as well. A philosopher one that could be cool. <laughs> I'm um, happy with ten and because the, I think the cool is cool. I think the number yeah. I had originally before we talked talked about it being bad. I had eleven in my head just because I think it would be memorable if yeah. it was done yeah. right. Yeah, but I feel like I'm conflating the possibilities with what it 
is. Yeah, yeah. I, I in think the book, we've been... so I think I'm happy with a 10 as well. Yeah, because again, like, you, you could do any monster well. You can do any monster well, but I think this definitely... It's weird because it's very basic, but yeah. the concept is, like, gives you enough of a spark to go down these avenues of like you're not you're not like to make it like an interesting interaction you're not you haven't got to reach too far i don't yeah, think exactly. which i think is good but, but it, it is I, just I think, a thing that hits the... you twice so i guess i guess it's yeah. a 10 <laughs> yeah the stats are it, it is pretty bad stat wise like it's, it's very very interesting um and i think the fact that it you do have to do all the work yourself to make it interesting is is the issue there i think but i think i think i think like the fact that it's got so much lore is also part of what it is as well and that is all in the book and it gives it there straight to you it tells you like they're That's not going to get on with each other and so like so you're not you're not you're not having to reach to go for that I, so i think that that's a good like that's good lore in the book like as it is so that's why i was a little bit you know yeah. conflicted but i think no, i think i think i, I think it's fine completely fine i don't have an issue with that i would one last thing sure uh, yeah. before like we splash to the finished picture yeah, yeah. um we didn't talk about their names no, oh, no. Of course. they have um, separate names, don't they? Sorry, they have one name for each head, and when you refer to them, you refer to them as both names put together. Mm. Yeah, that's fun. So, like, if the law did... is good, if the law is simple and good, and that is a fair point actually. I because the the law the, the whole like backstory for them is not super hard to use. No, you don't have to use Demogorgon. You can just say a demon, a demon lord, what, it, any old demon you want. It was a long time ago, so it doesn't ha- matter anymore. It doesn't like, matter, yeah. and I think that's that is very fun. I could see eleven because of that. You have Id and Ego, and its name is Idigo. But the but the thing, is, I I I'm I'm I, I am I am repulsed by the fact its two attacks are identical. That is that is bad. Uh, it's so disappointing. It's, that is really bad. Yeah, that I, might I, be I, like the, the biggest example of I, like. I totally, guys. I totally, I totally get that. It's like, and it's an easy, it's an easy fix as well, of course, because uh, you could, as we said, give give one of them reach, give it a different damage and die. I'm saying this: a, a whole new attack, right? A whole yeah. new attack where both heads focus on focus one on target, someone. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah, goes yeah. versatile, and it just smashes you. I think that'd be very cool. Like you're giving it the option to do something. I'd like it to have advanced in that as well, kind of like it's pack tacticing it itself. Yeah, yeah. It just gives if, if, one if, smash. Yeah. Maybe when it, if, if fourth fourth edition mechanic, if it were bloodied, it's like, uh oh, yeah. Time to like get serious. We're working together. We're gonna we're gonna I mean, we'll, we'll we'll stop arguing for now. That totally <laughs> goes in with their two heads are better than one part of the like the law that we didn't go super into in this as well either. Which oh, is when they set, a... yeah the whole idea of when they when they focus on a common like threat they can like resolve their personal differences and dedicate themselves fully to a task yeah, which is meant to be a threatening prospect it doesn't really explain that's I guess it's a weakness exactly. it says that but doesn't really explain how that would work that's, in that's any way is, yeah that's the thing because like so I guess that's, 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 that's another ten. strength and weakness it's a really it's a really good strength but like, the fact it's not represented in, in the any way that are in, in the any book way no is really like because I think what, what that's meant to mean is like. If they if they if they've got a cause that they're fighting for, maybe maybe they've been convinced by a guy that they will. Otherwise, I think the idea is that they don't really they no. sit around getting nothing done. Yeah. So when you see them in an organization, I guess. But yeah, I think it's such it, with a few simple additions, this could be like a really awesome monster. Maybe if if we were to make the version that we're talking about, these would be like good. stat differences. I would probably put up to like a thirteen. Yeah. At least, but like again, as it is, I I, I would be. I'd be conflicted giving it more than a 10, I think. But I think 10's still good. It's a spicy, it's a spicy 10. You were, Sam yeah. was leaning a bit above. I was leaning a bit below. Um, I, 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 I was dead in the middle. So, so I, I think 10, 10 works. <laughs> um, I've got an Etten. You have an Etten? Do you want to see my Etten? Show me your Etten. It's much like the. Um, it's much like it was last time you saw it, but with colour and stuff. Let's go. I Let's like colours. Ooh. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the big dumb Celtic. Oh, trousers. yes. He's got big stripy obelix, ob- obelix trousers. Um, yeah, and he's got he's got that symbol again. That's turning up again. That was we saw that earlier. We did see I'm that. Sure, it's nothing. Sure, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And also, the flying swords becoming a lightsaber more and more. Yeah. Um, glows more every time I draw it. Maybe it glows when idiots are near. 
<laughs> well, hence why it always has a dull glow around Norman. Um, but yeah, clearly, you know, uh, the, the reckless old Ben and Norman have realised that this thing is not going to be paying attention. It, may, it usually has advantage on its perception checks, but right now it's, it's distracted. <laughs> so they're just going to walk on by up the mountain, I think. And I, I guess we'll, 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 we'll come across what they face up there uh, next episode. Whoa. I, yeah. Uh... I like how you did the the faces of the Etons because again they're orcish heritage. Like I can see the I can see the orc, like yeah, the, yeah. the it almost invader zim. Kind uh, of. There's, I will say like when I when I'm doing like quick drawing, I thick lines for the quick drawing stuff, and that gets a bit zimmy. I will, I will say not in a bad way, but yeah, I think these orcs. Well, I kind of realised uh, in in designing this orc face, they look kind of like. Uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, the movie, orcs yeah. in, in in a way, kind of yeah, like, you know, yeah. they haven't got like they've got a s- sloping downwards faces and little not not pig noses, but you know, sort of like batish batish noses. I don't know. I'm I'm happy with this as a, as an orc face <laughs> for the future. And they can have a lot of variation amongst themselves, like most creatures would. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, what I uh, will say as well. Uh, so a point which I kind of thought of when I was drawing this because it's, it's another big strong guy and I thought of all the big strong not smart monsters in the book of which there is quite a lot there's many the, many the strong Etons, boys there's so many just things who are their thing is they're big and strong and dumb um, the Etten is probably the cooler one because it's you know got two heads and that's fun mm. you know we've not, we've not done Ogre yet and maybe Ogre's gonna really blow me away but I suspect not and uh, just to say another thing about orc design oh yeah yeah D&D orcs uh, and the one that you've drawn here they're very often drawn as grey yeah yeah I, I really like grey orcs and I don't know quite why like green orcs are a while of fun <clears throat> but there's something like very evil about the yeah I think I, I think I want green orcs to be 40k orcs <laughs> For one thing, that there is and that's that. That's about it. Yeah. Like, cause they're and they're dumb and they're really funny. I I think. But me, gob- goblin mean. goblins are green. Yes. In my mind, and if you make orcs and goblins both green, especially when they're meant to be distinct, like in in D and D, they are distinct. You're, you're boxing them together. Yeah. Like, like, and also, like, I I don't like the uh, the orc design of D and D. We'll go into that when we do orc, but like, mm. I I think. Having the yeah, as I say, as I say, when I think green orc, I'm thinking, well, the the 40k orcs and also like the World of Warcraft orcs who are not they're, they're like a toned down design of the 40k yeah. orc. They're they're a much more palatable <laughs> version of it. Um, uh, as a color blind person, green is a difficult color for me to use. <laughs> yeah, and green is one of those colors that what looks like a nice green to me. I'm often told is a disgusting color. I'm just like, oh, okay. I guess I, I guess I just won't use green <laughs> then, uh, because it's a, uh, it's, it's difficult. I, you know. Well, but, I anyway. hope that this discussion and more has eaten up a lot of our time. <laughs> but you can always continue it in the comments. <laughs> oh, if we were smart, we could have planned out like a little, like a, like a. A pantomime of us arguing with each other and making jokes, like a pet in might. If we were smart, we would have just started doing it right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we're not. We're the three-headed monster that makes up the the the, the show Chandra is. Oh. And I think I don't. I think you shouldn't subscribe. Well, I think you should. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, yeah, do what you want. Oh, yeah. Indecisive head. <laughs> yeah. One head tells the truth. One head lies. The other one, one doesn't really care. The other, one doesn't really, the other one's a nihilist. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't fine. matter if you like or don't like anything. Well, oh, shut up, up, emo head. It's all, everything's decided by random dice anyway. It's all random. It's all fate. That's the third head on the back of an end who only looks where he's been. <laughs> yeah, he's just like... Oh. <laughs> I'll never know where I'm going. Shut up, but backhead. He, he's the smart one. He's the philosopher. Is the one who just looks backward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what if it's got 
ahead on they got ahead on the back, but they don't know it's there. Because <laughs> they can't who's that, turn who, around to see it. Who's there? Who keeps saying that? This is like, <laughs> oh, oh, it sucks to be a third head and an end. <laughs> It's just like, it's just the on the back. Yeah. Uh, oh. Anyhow, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. 